Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be setting some basic configurations for a Windows Server 2012. Um, this video assumes that you already have the operating system installed. If you don't, that'll be step one. I am using VMware as software to run these as virtual servers. I've gone through and set up my first server. I'm going to go ahead and do this video on my second server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn your machine on. So there's only a few things we're going to do today. Um, we're going to set a name. We're going to set a work group. We're going to make sure our network is set as private. We are going to give the server a computer name. And I think that's the majority of it. So really this should only take maybe three or four minutes once we get the machine booted up. Alright, almost there. currently doing this video on my laptop. Hopefully, my future videos, I will be running them on an actual server. They'll still be virtuals, but I'll be running on server hardware, which will be significantly faster, hopefully, than my laptop. in. If you're doing this on a virtual, I recommend a password that you can easily remember. If you're not doing this for just testing purposes, I recommend a stronger password. And anytime you start a server up, um, 2000 12 and 2008 both automatically launch the server manager from down here. So whether you want it open or not, it's going to open automatically when the server first starts up. Another thing we'll take a quick look at is the PowerShell. This is a lot like the command prompt from Windows 7 and prior. There are some significant differences in getting PowerShell to display results or output. is not as user-friendly. There are a lot of times where you can't really get the exact output that you're looking for, but we won't worry about that for now. We will just go ahead and get started with the basic configuration, getting it onto the network and, and all that. So we'll start with the network. It looks like it already has internet access, which is fine. is showing a private network, which is good, but we're still going to go over that. We're going to come in here to our adapter properties, IPv4, and we're going to manually set the IP address. Before I do, though, I'm just kind of curious as to what address it's already picked up. A quick and easy way to find that is just open a command prompt and check your IP configuration. 10.1.4. So it's already on the right network, it's just not quite the IP address I want it to have. I want to be at 10.10.1.3. And I'm going to treat it as a slash 24 default gateway manually set that up in VMware as my gateway to be 250. Server 1 is actually 1010.1.2. My 
virtual interface that connects my physical interface to these virtual machines is 10.10.1.1 so I can't use that so server 1 gets 10.10.1.2 server 2 gets 10.10.1.3 um, we're going to go ahead and set 10.10.1.250 the gateway as the DNS server for now and the alternative I'm just going to go ahead and set to Google give it the OK give it a little bit of time to readdress itself on the network you should see it come back up with full internet access alright so we're good there next thing we want to do is do the computer name and the work group there's a couple of ways to get there I found the easiest is to hold your windows key and hit your pause key at the same time bring you into here where you can change your settings for that. Um, I think the alternative is to go to your start menu, right click on your PC, and go to properties. I'll bring you back to this exact same screen. We're going to go change settings, hit change, computer name, I'm going to match 410 server 2, set it to a work group, 410 server 2012, we're going to go ahead and hit more. Primary DNS suffix is going to be 410 server 2012.local and give it the OK. It'll take a second to rename itself here and it requires a reboot. Before we reboot though, we are going to open PowerShell. and verify, or I guess kind of force, our network type to be private in case it came up and it was public, or if it came up as anything else. Um, so inside PowerShell, the first thing we want to do is give the command get dash net connection profile. And we'll give that a few seconds to get gather the information for us. Alright, so there's our interface. Index number is 12. Remember that. Yours may be different. If it is, that's fine. Um, so the next command that we want to give is going to be set net connection profile dash interface index and then whatever number it shows here. So in my case it's 12. And then dash network category and just to show the change we're going to set this to public first and I'll come back and have it regather that so you can see that my command changed it to a public network and I'm going to go ahead and change it back to a private network and so there it is private network um, that's pretty much everything after that, it's just a reboot, verify that the name has been changed, and that's all. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave a note for me below, and I'll see you in my next video.